TII Technical Education Systems, Teaching Technology for Tomorrow. In this video, what we want to do is we want to look at how we can create an interlink multiple screens on the Siemens HMI. Now, I've created a program here already to save us a little bit of time using a latching push button, an HMI input to put a timer on delay into the uh, left white light of the TII Technical Education Systems Trainer and then we'll create an HMI output on the actual trainer as well. So what I want to do now is we're actually going to go through the steps of adding an HMI to, the P to this program, to the TIA portal the V114. So to do that, what we're going to do is we select a new device. Come down here. This happens to be a 7-inch display, uh, basic. Select here and select OK. And this will take just a quick second for it to load up. Now we're in the HMI wizard. And for the most part, we've been skipping over this in these videos. But I want to take a little bit of time to walk through some things. So what we want to do is we want to select a PLC okay, that it's going to be networked to. So we'll select PLC1 which is our S7-1200 in the TII trainer. Select OK. All right, and it's gone out and found that and it shows that these two are now networked together. Then we want to select Next here. This will go to the screen layout. We can select the date and time. Um, we can get rid of the logo if we want. We could add something if we needed to. I think that's good. We'll just get rid of the logo. We'll leave the date and time in the header. Okay. We'll go next. Alarms, we're not going to be dealing with those in this video. And then we're going to go to screens. Now, when we get to the root screen, this is where we want to start to add new screens or multiple screens so we can have different screens for different operations. So what we want to do here is we want to just click the pre we want to click the plus button on the root screen. Okay? And this will bring up a new screen for us. And if we want to rename it, which in this case we might, we will select this, we'll select the renames, and we'll call this the output screen. Hit enter. And now if I want to put another screen at the same level, so basically to go from the root screen to this or another one, you hit the plus key here. Now if I hit the plus key on this one, it will bring it out this way and I can only link between these two when I start up. But we don't need to do that right now, so we'll just delete this screen. We'll select this one, we're going to rename this, we're going to put this as timer, the timer screen, we'll hit enter. And then we will add another screen, and we will refer to this as input screen. Pretty basic, pretty simple, okay? And again, we're simplifying something that is a very important uh, piece of controlling an HMI device so we can understand what's happening. Now, there are a couple other steps here we can go through, but this is the main part that I want to show you. So here we're going to go ahead and select Finish. Okay, so now you can see that what we have uh, over here in the screens are a number of different screens here. We have the root screen, the input screen, the output screen, and the timer screen. And you can see that those are all linked up here. So you can press those and they will actually go between those screens on the trainer. All right. So let's go ahead and move this down here. And now if I actually go over to the input screen and open it up. Notice that there's a back button in here and the name inputs right here. Okay. I go to the output screen. There's a back button that will take me back to the root screen. And then we have a timer screen with a back button. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go to the input and what we'll do is we will create a tag, an input tag here. So we can, we'll, we'll add a button into here so we can control that timer. Grab a normal push button, grab a green one, drop it out here, make it a little bigger, double click, bring up the properties. We want to tag this.
we want to tag this to the HMI input. Select here. Hit OK. And that will tag this to that HMI input to control that timer. Okay. Now that that's done, we can minimize this again. We're just doing a very basic uh, setup here. We want to put an output in here, so we'll go to libraries. And we will grab a pilot light. And again, I have videos showing you how to do all of these steps. Make it a little bit big, bigger, easier to see. Double click on the properties. Bring up our tags. We'll go to HMI, the HMI output that we created. Select that. Minimize. Minimize this. Now our output data table file is set. Okay. Now let's go to our timer. Okay. And for the timer, what we want to do is we'll put in a, um, a we'll put in a couple of different links to this. So what we want to do is let's go ahead and split screen this, and we will open up the main OB1. So we have our uh, timer over here. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to grab the timer PT and drop it over here. And then the timer accumulated over to here. You see those two are lined up. Turn off our split screen. Now what we want to do is we will grab text box and drop it over here. Text box, drop it right here. Double click. We're going to make this the timer preset. And we'll make this the timer ACC. Okay. And we wanna we wanna double click on this. I'm gonna change the decimal setting on here. Again, we've uh, I have a number of videos showing you how to do this. Three. And we will go ahead and minimize this. Now this is all set and ready to go. I can make it look a little bit better if I would like. Drop this into here. Drop, line these up. Now let's say I want to be able to go from the timer screen to the output screen. Watch how easy it is to link these. Just come over here and grab the output screen and just drag it over here and drop it in. And I can resize it however I want. And now what I've done is I've created a link between the timer and the output, okay? So then let's say I go to the output and I want to create a link between the output and the input. So I can go from my output to my input. I do the same thing. I just drop this in here, make it fit the way that I would like. And then I have all of these, inner, I have all of these linked together. So we'll go back to the root screen here, the bottom. And again, this root screen basically will send you to any of them, okay? And so then all of them are interlinked. So let's go ahead and download this and see how it works. Now that we've downloaded both the PLC program and the HMI program, I went ahead and turned the monitor function on here. And as you can see, it brings us right to our root screen that we created. Now notice that there's no timer, time value in the timer preset. To enter that in, what we'll do is we'll select timer here, and that will bring us to the time screen that we created. Now we select the timer preset, and that will bring up our input table. So what we want to do is let's set the preset timer for five seconds. So of course we have to enter in 5,000, because it's a multiple of one millisecond. Enter that in. And notice that five seconds appears right here, okay? So now, if I want to start it and monitor the accumulated timer, I can activate the right left, the right green push button, and you can see the accumulated timer is actually running. Now, the white light turns on, and if I go to the output screen, my output is activated. If I deactivate the latch and push button, the light goes off. So if I activate it again, five seconds later, my accumulated timer has reached its preset value. The light comes on here, and the HMI output 
is activated. Now, I can go back to the root screen and go to my inputs, and I can activate this. This is a latching push button. Activate this. Now my timer is timing. And at five seconds, my white light comes on. And if I go back to my outputs, my output is activated too. And this is just a very simple example of how you can use multiple screens in your PLC. This is very simplified, but it does show all of the steps where each screen can be used for data collection, for your on-off functions, for your monitor functions, for controlling your timers, your counters, whatever it is. Okay? So this was unit 21 in the TII Technical Education Systems Trainer that is set up for Siemens PLCs and HMIs. Thanks for watching.